So iliotibial band, how do we assess it? And it does go under the radar, there's no doubt about it. This is my go-to assessment. We call this the OBIS test, and I've sort of modified it a little bit. There is the modified OBIS test, but I've actually even modified it even more. But this is how I assess it. So the hip and the knee need to be in line, and the knee and the hip need to be at the same height, as does the ankle. Okay, so we're going to be at literally about 90 degrees here. The idea is we're holding the knee here and then obviously we're letting go. All right, so if we're getting a drop with the knee towards the table, then that will indicate that the ITB is not tight. So if we're with Candice here, let's just say hypothetically that we let go and it drops to about here. Okay, we can suffice to say that this ITB is quite tight. If it drops down towards more to the actual table itself, then we know we haven't got a really, really tight ITB. It's a broad assessment, but it's a good indicator whether or not we're dealing one. Obviously, like anything, we have to assess both sides. Okay, so it is imperative that you're assessing both sides. This is not about provoking pain. This is more about a range of movement and just getting a bit of an idea of what the tension is onto the ITB. And this is where it all comes back into treatment because we use this to gauge whether or not we're getting a change. So as I said before, a lot of this condition or if my all of this condition happens in and around the hip itself and restrictions of the hip itself. So that allows the band to be tight. So there are other muscles here that interplay with that as well, but this is just a broad overview and probably a really good go-to. And this is what I use in terms of assessing it, treating, and then reassessing, okay? So that's the modified. So remember, just to recap, hip, knee, and ankle need to be at the same height, the knee, and the hip need to be in line with each other as well. Because if you've got the knee in here, then obviously you're gonna have a greater range of movement. So there's not as much tension on the ITB itself, okay? So that's the OBIS test.